anxiety is <laughs> it's a common mental health condition actually right a lot of people don't realize that it is uh, or realize how common it is but it's very very common um and it can have significant impact on anyone right anyone it affects millions of people around the world in fact what are some of the forms of anxiety you might ask yourself this is some of the questions that i ask myself so I went digging and, you know, I got some information. So I want to share that with you. Uh, there are different forms. We have what's called a general um, anxiety disorder. And some people kind of use a, the short handle for it, which is GAD. And we have phobias. A lot of people have phobias. I have a phobia of heights. Don't put me on anything higher than 10 feet. I'm, I'm you know, because I, I feel like if I can't land on my two feet without breaking them, I shouldn't be up there. <laughs> that's that's my phobia, right? And uh, the other one is just a panic disorder. So you may not necessarily have all three. Some people have all three. Some people have two. Some people just have one that you're battling, right? But we all have them at different periods in our lives. And that's, that's something that I want to kind of shed some light on, that mental health is not something that's, you know, uh, presents itself to just one group of people or particular individuals with certain circumstances. No, as long as you're alive and breathing, it's just like a headache. It's just like a, mi a migraine. It can come and it may go in some instances and sometimes it's there for a lifetime, you know, or an extended period. So a person with a general disorder um, is someone who is constantly worried about the everyday issues, right? like their health, uh, the money, uh, do they have enough, um, and work, do, do they like work, are they concerned, are they going to be fired, they're, they're always in this fear, relationships, am I a good partner, uh, who do I want to be with, can I even get in a relationship, why can't I get in a relationship, is it because of this part of me, and so forth, family, why don't I have the same, you know, relationship like um, these two members of my family, uh, why do I have to be the one that feels like I'm an outsider in my own family, right? All these little things, these are the voices that we hear and, and the things and the situation that we create for ourselves to justify why we do the things we do, like staying away from people and, and so forth, right? This can go on daily for individuals who suffer from anxiety disorders, right? Daily. And then it can, like I said, it can go on for months, but the point I'm trying to make is it's, it comes and it goes, but sometimes it sticks around a little bit longer than you would like. 